I'm Timo Jungling, I'm 12 and I'm from London. My name is Joshua Graham, I'm 12 years old from Waldham in Kent. I started karting when I was five uh, at Buckmore Park in uh, Higher Bambino Karts. I first started karting at seven and a half in the Bambino class at Buckmore Park. My, like, my highlight has definitely been at Mansell where I won in the final because I just had no teammates and I beat the whole of Synergy by myself and ambition and that, that, that was a highlight of my year. My highlight of the year so far is probably Warden Law as I finished second but this week we're going to aim for the win. To be 2021 British Kart Champion will, be, will mean the world to me since I've been trying my hardest, me and my dad and my family and SFR, like been trying the best to win it. Last year we couldn't quite do it but this year we've we're going into the round with uh, only two points behind No Wolf in drops, so I definitely think I can win it. To become 2020 British Cup champion, it would mean the world to me as I've put a lot of effort into it. Yes, and the championship contenders, you spoke the two of them there, No Wolf the third of them, and it's still all to play for with one race to go. Uh, Timo Jungling comes into this race with 760 points, 64 points. Joshua Graham, 750. Noah Wolf, 749. Looking at dropped scores, Noah Wolf is going to be dropping a 52. Uh, Joshua Graham, it's tougher for Joshua. He's going to be dropping a 59, whereas Timo Jungling, his lowest score, at the stone, currently counting is a 57, so he'll be dropping a 57. It's uh, in Timo Jungling's hands, let's just say that, but a lot can happen. The track is now beginning to dry out because the cloud has lifted, and my word, the sun is now shining over half the circuit at least. Not that half, the half behind the camera, out on the banking. And I'm looking from the commentary position down towards turn number one. And there are two tyre widths worth of dry tarmac that's threading their way through the Bruno Ferrari S's and under the bridge. There is the eyes of Timo Jungling, based in London now, originally from Bavaria. Uh, so an Anglo-German driver. A look back at the season. Noah Wolf won the opening round at Clay Pigeon. Timo Jungling won at Mansell. Noah Wolf won at Lark Hall. Timo Jungling won at Warden Law. Two wins apiece this year for Jungling and Wolf. Joshua Graham, well, he's got one win, but that happened back in 2020 up at Warden Law. There is a look at the number 10 of Max Cuthbert uh, getting his uh, number 10 cart set. Looking back at the grid there. So, uh, total in Connect Honda. Mitchell Gibbons is the all-time Connect Honda Honda Cadet, uh, sorry, uh, winner with five winners. Kian Nakamura Berta is second, but Timo Jungling has also got three wins alongside Berta. So if Jungling wins this race, and there's a big uh, eye there, that's William Murphy, there's the number five, uh, Cart Lewis Islin. Uh, if Jungling wins this race, he moves second overall on the Honda Cadet podium standings with four wins. Ambition Motorsport have got eight wins. Uh, Project One Racing have got three. Heinz Racing have got three. SFR have got two. Synergy have got two. Uh, there's a thumbs up there from Aaron Majewskis. Uh, sorry, Majewskis, I do apologise. Uh, Noah Barham, just having a last couple of uh, words with his mechanic. There's Noah Pikes for Synergy Racing. Uh, just uh, head down there. Now look back, there's Max Endicott in cart number 18. It's a pretty fetching pick hat for his uh, uh, ball hat for his mechanic Harrison Whittacombe Wales is Harrison Whittacombe uh, the red crash helmets qualified really well fade in the races Thomas Spearing is uh, looking up there Thomas Min Spearing in cart number 75 down the 11th row there's a big way from uh, Ambition Motorsports Jack West and further back Hugh Roche who's had some support on the live stream and uh, Kai Clark starting right at the back uh, in cart number 67, he's concentrating. He's got to do a top gear from the rear, mm. has uh, Kai Clark. But again, yeah, Ambition Motorsport. Eight wins in this class. Uh, looks like it's a bit of a, a, ta a task for Josh Graham. In fact, I'm looking at the... I don't think Josh can gain another 14 points. So uh, Noah Wolf, can he gain 14 more points 
He's dropping a 52. He gained 13 points. Ooh. It's, I think that Jungling may have done enough, but still, it's going to be very nervous for Jungling. And he's got 15, uh, he's got 15 minutes to try and negotiate his way around a very, very tricky circuit. And he does indeed, yes, as we go down the uh, right-hand side. There's a nice little uh, cheeky wave there. Lucas Blanford as the uh, rest of the drivers go through. There's Oliver Majowski there. Or Majewski, I should say. Cold Denham as well. And there's a bird. Excellent. Well, he's gone. There was, there, a, bird. Go. there was a bird. Yes. Carts are going to make their way out into the circuit now. And here's a look then at your lineup for Honda Cadet final. Timo Jungling starting on pole position from Joshua Graham, William Murphy, and Noah Wolf rounding out row number two. Row three, Lewis Islin and Max Cuthbert. Row four, Kenzo Craigie and Leon Hasty. Owen Neve and Rocco Shenton on row five with Aris Majowskis. Jowskis. Oh, Jowskis, thank yeah, you, yes. with uh, Joshua Smith alongside on row six. Noah Barham and Cole Danham are up next. Noah Pikes and Oliver Majewski are on row number eight. Max Endicott and Lucas Blantford on row nine with Harrison Whittacombe and Albert Friend rounding up the top 20 on row 10. Row 11, Thomas Minspearing and Luca holmes Ballack, and then Jack West and Brendan James on row 12. Hugh Roche and Harley Musk ran out row 13 with Kai Clark starting from the back of the field on row 14. He had uh, issues yesterday, I believe he did. He retired from one of the races before yep. it even started. And yep. uh, yeah, that was a, a sign of a, well, a, a bad start to the season. But he's in the final, which is good. And of course, all the drivers will be through to the final on this one. But uh, yeah, can we see him make moves and make positions from the back of the grid? We'll have to find out. Of course, a standing start. Mm. And I mean, offline, it's still soaking wet. But look at that, the foreground of the camera shot there. That tarmac by there, me old chestnut, she be dry. She be very dry, doesn't she? So, yes. But these carts, all of them, is anyone on slicks? Did we spot that? No, no. No, no one's on no, slicks. No, that would be a uh, Would that be a mistake? That would be a mistake, yes. Okay, fair enough. That would, be a, that would, would, uh, that would be a mistake. Maybe the next session. Well, the next session's the Total Karting Zero uh, carts. Ah. Now, they're just a guest class, so they've got their own final. But that they're going to be known as guinea pigs, mm. electric-powered guinea pigs. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, uh, because everyone else... Oh, dear, we've got a bit of a Lewis Islin there, not really in the right position. Is he going to move across? Uh, Lewis Islin uh, is supposed to be in sixth place on is, the third now. row. Now, someone's going to have to put their back out. Okay, now they're going to reverse uh, Owen Neve's cart up. We're going to well, reverse need to go 44 backwards. of Kenzo Craig. You know, don't forget, Kenzo Craig and Albert Friend in this class, they qualify for the, grand, the Rotax Grand Finals in Micromax, there's no qualifiers. I mean, there's no grand final ticket up for grabs in, in Honda Cadet because it's not a Rotax class. Hmm. It's sim simple, but I just thought I'd let you know the viewers. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. public service, isn't it? Yeah, in it, in, in it, <laughs> inform, entertain, and educate in proper English. Like lights are green. No, they're not. Green flag in the air. Lights are red. Lights are out. Now we're off and racing. Honda Cadet, the final. Youngling leads. Graham slots into second place and Wolf into fourth behind William Murphy as they go through turn number one. Yep, good start then from the entirety of the field. One bit going to the grass there. The 92 Jack West takes to the grass but comes back on. And look at the dry patches starting to form then off that banking section as they go up now over the bridge. They go Ooh. Jung with that outside liner and then it was Graham down the inside. I think Graham has managed to hold it. He has. Graham now takes the lead down the hill in towards hairpin number one. Wolf in third place as the rest of the field. Concertina up as they go through. The 95 just in shot, and what have you seen? Noah Wolf taking the dry line around hairpin number one, taking the lead, and uh, Graham gave him a little bit of a shove with his nose coming out of the corner. The first thing I saw was that uh, Timo Jungling took the traditional wet line through turn number four, and Graham was quicker on the dry line. So the track is still wet weather tyres. Wet weather tyres are better than slicks at the moment, but the racing lines the dry racing lines are now becoming to be about as preferable as the, as the wet racing lines as Leon Hasty runs wide. Yep. This is going to be a very, very interesting race because the drivers, they're on the wet tyres, but they've got to start using the dry lines. They really do, don't they? So as they come through now, it's Graham who leads the way as they come towards the line as one of the ambition carts goes very wide there. Islin there in second place from Timo Jungling. 
No position changes in the points, of course, as they need to move around a little bit more than they currently are. 13 and a half minutes to go, plus that one additional lap, and the train comes through the shot up into the banking section and of course all taking that favorable dry line that's the crucial bit that you're seeing here yep and uh people asking oh my word they're all taking the uh, grass blocks coming off the corner and there's Olomievsky always oh, reversing across the <gasps> oh sharp and take a breath there as Mieski went round he gets going in that, that that blue and white there the passion motorsport cart run by Connor the team run by Connor Mills he reversed across the track uh, I suppose he was trying to get um, uh, away from, you know, the, the oncoming carts. If he had put the, his foot on the brakes, he would have slid right into the racing line. So I can see why he did that there. Uh, he's underway. Oh, and oh, there's contact Graham. there between Wolf. Uh, no, not between Wolf, between Islin and Graham. Yeah. Graham ran wide out of the uh, Fullerton S's there and then came back onto the track, albeit uh, there was, Islin was on the track. So here's a replay then of what that, so you can oh. see there, Graham really wide there, comes back on and just, oh, 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 oh. oh. That oh. could have been game oh. over. Oh, yeah, that, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was, uh, <laughs> yes, synchronized ohing here yes. in the commentary box. Uh, through there, that, that, that green, that green helmet for Timo Jungling. Settled in third position. Islin, Graham, one, two. Championship positions, disembodied voice in my head. Please show us the title standings as we run. There they are, uh, 767 for Youngling, 756 for Wolf, 753 for Graham. So at the moment, uh, well, Josh Graham, if he moves at one position, he gains three championship points. That puts him at a tie on 756 with Noah Wolf. Noah Wolf runs in fourth position. That is 59 points currently. So he can add another six points. It's not enough. Youngling at the moment is, is, is a title. Neither of them can beat him. No. Youngling came into this race on 600, 764 points. The highest Noah Wolf can get is 763. Yeah, there but we go. No, so, so Youngling will still be trying to win this race. Now Graham takes the race lead. First time... Uh, we've seen that happen uh, in, the, in the last couple of laps. We're on lap number three now. Fastest lap last time around for Lewis Islin. We've got all 27 drivers still running. We do indeed. As they come out of the final corner, back on. And look at that dry line forming now. And the hand gestures coming in thick and fast for oh. all the drivers. Just saying, come on, get in that slipstream. Push, push, push. Don't battle. Try and close these gaps. Because it's unusual that we see this many gaps in Honda Cadet. It's usually one long train all the way back to 27th place. <laughs> but it is much, I mean, it's much harder to do that in the wet. In the oh, damp, it is but much I mean, harder to do I that I mean, that they're the still proving they can draft in slipstream. And look at I mean, Lewis Islin is virtually sitting on uh, Josh Graham's shoulders going into the first hairpin there. Uh, Youngling in third, just at the moment, staying out of trouble, just making sure that everything's fine. Wolf and Murphy, William Murphy, in fourth and fifth position. And next, Cuthbert is sixth. Rocco Shenton is up into seventh. And it's Leon Hasty, Owen Neve, and Aaron Mioskis. Uh, that is your top ten. Uh, Min Spearing is 11th. He's gained 10 places already for Thomas Min Spearing. Then Kenzo Craig, you know, Pikes, Harrison Whittacombe, Cole Denham, and the rest. And there is a few of them out there. Nine minutes to go, or just under 10 minutes to go. And again, watching these drivers go around top and tail all the way. And we say it's been a fantastic uh, season for Honda Cadet, hasn't it? They've, they've given us some excellent races at every single round we've been to. Of course, Shennington was the first round for Honda Cadet. Am I right in saying? No. No? Clay Pigeon. It was indeed Clay Pigeon. You are correct in saying that. No, there we Wolf go. won from Timo Youngling and Owen Neve. He did indeed. In the rain. You've got it on your piece of paper. I have. I, that's why they call me the stat man. Exactly. Well, they call, they call me Henry. but I'm They call you Henry, yeah. yeah. Uh, they call you many other things as well, but we won't well, say those things on the back. live stream. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it was Wolf, Youngling, Neve on the podium at Clay Pigeon. Change for the lead. Lewis Islin at the inside. Now, Lewis Islin. Lewis Islin hasn't been on the podium yet this year. In fact, he's only got one podium in his career, and that came at the last round of 2020 at Wilton Mill. Now we've had Harrison Crowther; he had it. You know, he's he's got two like last last gas wins. You know, at the last round of the season already in Mini Max. I wonder if uh, Lewis Islin, it's his time to shine. Last round of the season, he's going for his first win, his first podium since December 2020. Yeah, exactly that. So keep a close eye on all of these drivers as they go through. Now, Wolf has managed to get past Youngling there. Youngling now falling back down the order into fourth place now. Now, there is um, 
we got a few comments here. Now, we, we, there is a pinned comment uh, at the top of the live chat about why the stream might be a bit laggy. It's because of the weather here, the cloud, the cloud cover here at PFI. It's playing havoc with the live stream today. So, uh, you know, we've tried to make apologize for that as, as the days progress mm. and say that, you know, we're waiting for the weather to change. But still, the stream is, is not cooperating because the cloud cover, although right over the circuit, <laughs> the cloud is, is lifting. But right behind us where the uh, uh, signal is, is the cloud cover is still very low. So, you know, please bear with us. And uh, if the commentary is, is still there. You can still listen to what's going on. Plus, as well, this is all being recorded as well. So uh, you yes. will see these vinyls in crystal clear condition. Yes, exactly. Latter in the week. So there we go. On YouTube. Ah, right. Wolf, Youngling, and Murphy. So Noah Wolf uh, still hanging on to second. He's moved up to 757 points. So now Noah Wolf is now second in the championship, four points in front of Josh Graham. And there's an awful lot of real estate, however. Mm. 2.3 seconds worth of free track uh, in front of Noah Wolf. And of course, Noah Wolf, yesterday he was food poisoning. You know, he was very ill yesterday. He looks like he's fighting fit today, and he's sort of like got his head down, going for a potential third win. Timo Jungling going for a fourth win of his career. Uh, Islin going for win number one. Josh Graham. Josh Graham, he has a win. He's got a, Actually, he's got a win, three second places and a fourth. Josh Graham's last win, the British Championship, came at Warden Law uh, last September. That was a day where... Ambition of the sport swept the podium it with uh, Blake Tyshurst and Ewan Charman. Mm -hmm. You are correct in saying that. You were there. I was. Commentating with someone that was young enough to be on the grid. Mm. Mm. I was. Yes, you were. <laughs> not, men not me. I'm mentally young enough to be on the grid. Physically, mentally young sure enough. Physically, yeah. Oh, right, physically. Right off. Yeah. Fully parked. OP home. Wolf. They're still using, no, they, 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 they're still using the wet line through hairpin number one. Now, mm. that is preventing the, 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 the dry line from appearing, you know, too much. Fastest lap, 1 minute 17.16 for Lewis Islin. That is still a good 10, 12 seconds off dry weather pace. So we're nowhere near slick tyres yet. But when that crossover happens, it'll happen quickly. Um, there are going to be some nervous junior and senior Rotax uh, mechanics and drivers watching this unfold and wondering what the weather is going to do. Here's a battle. That's the number 22 of Noah Barham battling with the 48 of Joshua Smith. Uh, was that a zip car? In, in there? That was Lucas Blanford in the, the privateer run zip chassis. There he goes in cart number 58. And they're being chased by the number 70 uh, ambition motorsport cart of Hugh Roche. That battle is for... 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th. Yes, it is indeed. And that's uh, heating up nicely as Youngling set the fastest lap of the race now. 16.3 as uh, pulling out of the slipstream there goes the ambition driver there, Thomas Winspearing. Oh, no, it's not Thomas Winspearing. I do apologise. Yep. That is Hugh yep. Roche. This is the calm now. Five minutes to go. Say this is the calm as they go three wide out onto the bank. Yes. <laughs> but uh, up at the front, still half a second between Islin and Graham. A three and a half second gap back to Wolf and Youngling, who are battling for the final podium position. Under investigation, Noah Pikes. Uh, quite sure what that was for. Possibly start line violation. William Murphy runs in fifth. Shenton is sixth. Hasty is seventh. Cuthbert is eighth. Pikes is ninth. And Miauskis, Miauskis is tenth. Uh, then it's Neve, Craigie, Whittacombe, Spearing and Denham. Now, this battle on your screen that you're seeing right now is certainly heating up because this is the battle for third place. Youngling tried to go down the inside of uh, Noah Wolf, just going into the Bobby Game corner. Couldn't do it. There's Will in the background there. As uh, here comes Youngling back down the inside, gets that move done, and that's a good move. And again, it's lucky that these drivers are on the wet tyres because, of course, if, it was, uh, if Noah was on the slicks there and he was nerfed uh, out yes. onto that wet patch there, that oh, might have ooh. gone uh, ooh, uh, yeah. horribly wrong. It, it could have it could One have minute 15.90, new fastest lap. Race leader, Lewis Islin. Josh Graham is still hanging tough. He's like, you know, clinging on to him, you know, like a, like a terrier. But uh, is it is getting quicker and quicker. They're pulling away from the rest of the field. Uh, Youngling is back into third at the expense of Noah Wolf, uh, who are so they're battling away. So these two drivers, they've, they're the only two drivers who have won Honda Cadet Finals this year. Youngling and Wolf, they're not going to win this one. 
Oh, what does Noah need to, to play need to place to win the championship? Says Cameron Cannon. Well, the answer is he can't. The answer is is that uh, Noah Wolf cannot overhaul the 764 points that Timo Junglin started this race with. In fact, why don't we bring up the uh, bring up the championship standing disembodied voice as things run? Disembodied voice is not listening to me. He he's might listen to me. Could there. we have the points on the uh, screen, please, Mr. Disembodied Voice in my head? Thank you, maybe? Nope, he's maybe. not. Maybe? No, he's, he's abandoned us is both. Is he awake? He's abandoned us both. He did. So, um, 767 points for Timo Jungling, 756 for Noah Wolf as they stand. But Noah Wolf in fourth place, he is currently scoring 59 points. You only get six points. Uh, 50, 65 points for a win so Norwolf can only gain another 6 points and he's currently uh, 11 points behind Yeah. so that's it so the championship has been decided in, Noah, uh, in Timo Jungling's favour Wolf is just trying to finish the season on a high on the podium now there's the, the Lithuanian colours uh, the yellow, the green and the red of Aris uh, Majewskis's Crash helmet, number 23. Miauskis. Miauskis, Miauskis. You say Miauskis, I say Miauskis. Someone's going to have a go at us on Twitter later on for it. <laughs> uh, Callum, oh, oh, uh, Callum Hargrave, driver development driver, Owen Eve running wide. They're coming out of the, the Fullerton S's. That drops him back to 10th position. Here's the battle of the third. There is Murphy uh, chasing them. But uh, look at Lewis Isden. has now pulled out a gap of 1.3 seconds. It's another new fastest lap. 1 minute 15.40. Now, I'm wondering... Um, if you can hook up, make your worry machine, mm. that laptop there, to see what the lap times were yesterday in Honda Cadet, because we're at 1 minute 4.15.40 at the moment, 90 seconds of this race to go. There on your screen, the SFR Motorsport, the champion elect for 2021, Timo Jungling. Fastest lap of the race yesterday was a 106.5, so we're nine seconds off dry tyre pace here at the moment in Honda Cadet. SFR Motorsport, yet to win a British title. We've already had one first-time British title winner, so Strawberry Racing have won their first since the start of 2019, since the start of Motorsport, in the Motorsport UK yeah, 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 yeah. era. SFR Motorsport, they haven't won a British title yet. They're about, that statistic is about to change. A Zenon chassis is about to become a British Championship winning chassis. Um, and the last time we had a, 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 a driver with German heritage winning the British title, I'm not quite sure, an Anglo-German driver has won it before. So lots of history being made here in 2021. 30 seconds to go. Timo Jungling. Well, this has gone about, this is a very sedate Honda Cadet race. And that is just what Timo Jungling wanted. It's another new fast lap. 1 minute 14.890 for Lewis Islin. We're now just eight seconds off dry weather times now some of those uh, so that's uh, here's Lundy looking over his shoulder Noah Wolf head down chasing hard first season uh, well Noah Wolf uh, well, he's, he's trying to do Noah Wolf doing both cadet championships mm -hmm. he's going to come, he come a little bit short in Iami he went into the final round in Iami though with an outside chance of the title but and he, and he came into the very final I've just seen Ollie Varney out on the uh, the banking there so that's first time I've seen Ollie at the cart circuit for some time uh, top, top driver back in the day was Ollie. Um, good to see him here. Uh, there is the Joshua Graving cart number four. There is uh, number eight of Timo Jungli. So eighth last year. And I think this would be his final fling is a cadet driver. And he's going to go out as a British champion. Graham, fourth last year. He's three points adrift of Wolf at the moment. Wolf is second on 7.56. Graham on 753, but the maximum that Josh Graham can score is 756 as well. So he could. So if, if, if Graham can catch Isley, which I don't think he's going to do on the final lap, mm -hmm. they would tie on points and Graham would win it on a tiebreaker. But Lewis Isley, in a, well, he's, he's coasting away at the front now, two and, a half, two and three quarter seconds up the road. Leon Hasty, one minute 14.49. There's a list on your screen of the, the drivers who will get a national ranking in Honda Cadet at the end of the year. Lewis Islin for the Synergy Race Team. Synergy Racing, two wins, both come this year, thanks to Noah Wolf. They could be about set to... That would tie them with Heinz Racing and Project One Racing. 
second behind uh, joint second behind Ambition Motorsport as the most successful Honda Cadet team in the Motorsport UK era. Here he comes, number five, Lewis Islin. He's going to be sixth in the championship, but at long last, he is going to be a race winner. One corner to go. Lewis Islin takes the checkered flag. He is your winner in Honda Cadet. He celebrates, and we wait for it now. He's going to finish the year on the podium. Timo Jungling crosses the line. Your 2021 Vera Tools British Honda Cadet champion. Germany's Timo Jungli, and look at this battle for the minor places, side by side across the line between Kenzo Craig and Aris Miauskis for ninth place, and they're still battling, that's Albert Friend in the number 91, the number 18 of uh, Max Endicott, this is the 20th place crossing the line now, Oliver Miauski crossed the line after his spin, he recovers to 16th place, and who takes the final place, the top 20, it's Max Endicott, there it is though, Timo Jungling, British champion in Honda Cadets this year. And Noah Wolf takes second in the point standings by two markers over Josh Graham. William Murphy fourth in the championship. There's a, a, a list of results. Leading privateer home at the end of that one, uh, Lucas Blanford. So Lucas, the Scotsman, 23rd, but he gets a... He does get a... Uh, uh, a trophy for the leading privateer. Oh, that was uh, good to see. And uh, Youngling is uh, someone saying Jack da Jake Davis Youngling has won the championship. Yep, Youngling has won the championship. He's about to speak to Anthony Jordan. Well, when Anthony can get his tail down there, uh, jogging through the paddock, and uh, just check having the nose cones checked. Now the way bridge checked. He's okay. Thumbs up. Move the cart, cart will go into there. There's uh, Rocco Shenton. Rocco Shenton uh, finishing top four for Rocco Shenton just off the podium. He passed uh, Noah Wolf in the last up, so that's the best result of Rocco's season so far. And there they go. So, so Youngling celebrating, shaking hands with Rocco Shenton, fist bumps and what have you. Lewis Islin is happy. Lewis Islin, well done. Mum's there to greet him. The SFR motorsport team that uh, Youngling drives for is there to greet him. There's Luke Hines who helps with the SFR Motorsport team. And, uh, yeah, Luke Hines, the son of uh, the late Martin Hines of Zipcart fame. And, uh, yeah, he's a uh, good he's guide and helped to guide another driver. That looks like uh, Timo's brother, Ralph Youngling, there, who also races. Uh, a little bit further back now, Noah Wolf. Uh, just a little bit a little bit too much to ask, but after being ill, now there's Timo Youngling gets a handshake. This is great to see. I love watching these paddock shots, especially the young drivers, the cadets. Uh, we saw it last year, we're seeing it this year. Drivers from different teams giving their congratulations, you know. Uh, they, they compete hard on the track, but they're kids at the end of the day. They act like adults. They, they, we, we treat them like adults. They drive like adults, but then they are kids. And, uh, uh, you know, that, that's great to see. The elation, this, the unbridled joy. And now Timo Jungling is going to have to have his first interview as a British champion. Um, yeah, you can take your helmet off so we can see see your boat race. And, uh, yeah, Anthony Jordan is going to be down there very shortly. So, Timo Jungling up in lights on the big screen. Honda Cadet champion. We've had an Anglo-Algerian title winner this year in Mini X30. We've now got an Anglo-German winner as well. This is why the British Championship truly is a place for international drivers to come. It's the hardest national championship to win anywhere in karting anywhere in the world it's why we have so many drivers from overseas come here and uh, as restrictions continue to get lifted next year then we will have even more but over to timo jungling who's down with anthony jordan in the pits now thank you very much henry yes at this point i would be chatting to timo jungling but as you can see i don't have him he's currently he's just stuck a number one on the front of his cart timo He's chatting to more drivers now as well. Timo, come, 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 chat to us, mate. Uh, well, 2021 is over. You finished it on the number one spot. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> what a season it's been. I mean, uh, last year, privateer. This year with the team, the SFR team. And I believe the SFR team's first championship win as well. And you provided it. That must be a nice feeling. Yeah, it is. Um, of course, talk us about today's racing and this weekend's racing because the challenging conditions that we've had today and, of course, yesterday's lovely weather. Um, talk us through uh, these, these races. 
Luckily, I'm good in both the dry and the wet, so when it changes condition, I'm still like, top three. Uh, but this season's been quite hard since quite good drivers, such as Noah, Josh, uh, Lewis, uh, Leon, like everyone like that. Yeah, it's been a, a fantastic season, hasn't it, for you? And, uh, you know, talk us about, uh, you know, in this one, we see a lot of emotion with it. You know, family and friends are just uh, uh, alongside watching you. Talk us about, you know, what are the, what are the plans for next year? What are we going to be doing? I think I'll be doing Junior X30 or maybe Europe in OK Junior. But, yeah. But ch changing it around a bit, aren't we? Well, one more thing before you go. You've already stuck a sticker on your cup, but... Right here from Mr. Dan Parker from Motorsport UK, he presents to you your number one plate for championship winning Vera Tools British Cup champion in Honda Cadet. Well done. Thank you. Excellent stuff there from our Honda Cadets and excellent stuff there from the entirety of the grid. And huge congratulations to Lewis Island, of course, taking the race win in that one. So from the rumble in the jungle of the four stroke Honda Cadets, we go to the quiet and sen uh, lovely, quiet racing of the electric cars. Total Tarkin Zero Cadet is coming up next. OK, next class up is Honda Cadet. What a a championship they gave us. Uh, first of all, uh, all the way from Scotland, the leading privateer in the final, finishing 20th overall, Lucas Blanford. Well done, Lucas. Finished his first season with a top 20 finish. Now on to the leading rookie, and it's been a long while since I've mentioned uh, this name, and it gives me great pleasure to represent, to, to welcome back onto the podium, representing Zipcart, finishing fourth overall, it's Rocco Shenton. In fact, both Lucas and uh, Rocco on the uh, Zip chassis. Other uh, chassis are available, of course. Top three time now, finishing in third place. He pushed the eventual champion all the way from Ambition Motorsport, Joshua Graham. <laughs> now on to the top two. He was eighth last year, he finishes second today, but he is number one on the year. Representing SFR Motorsport, Timo Jungling. <laughs> but your race winner, Last, at the end of last year, he took his first podium. At the end of this year, he takes his first win. Representing the Synergy Racing Team alongside his winning mechanic, Jamie Islin. Please welcome Lewis Islin. He sprinted up there. You can't wait to get on top. There we go. That's the most eager I've seen any driver to get onto the t number one spot on the podium. Well done. And uh, Jamie, the dad, will get a winning mechanics award here from Dan Parker. Just what you've always wanted. Blood, sweat and tears. There we go. Now we'll chat with Lewis. Well, well, well let, let, let Chris have a photo. So, he's got more time to think of the answer to my question. My question is, how does it finally feel to be a winner in the British Car Championship? Oh my God, it feels amazing. It's just, last, well, this year, it's been terrible, but who- Thanks, Dad, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad, yeah. But yeah, but- <laughs> I'd never think that the final race I'd actually win it, but I did. It's been, I mean, the competition has been really, really tough. I mean, Noah's been there, he's not just missing the podium, but obviously there's Josh, there's, there's Timo, there's so many other drivers that could have won it. And you finally, went, at, at the bad weather, you finally managed to get away and just there. Yeah, what was the feeling like coming out of that last corner, you know, coming across the line? What was that like? Because the celebration was good. <laughs> it, I can't explain it. It felt so good just to get a win. Excellent. Anyone you'd like to thank? I'd like to thank Synergy Race Team, RPM Race racing engines, my dad for the really good setup, and my teammates for helping me. Excellent, congratulations, your cadet Honda winner, Lewis Islin. <laughs> so
So we've got a full podium. Now, uh, if we'd like to ask, if, uh, if, if uh, Lucas and Rocco and Josh and uh, Lewis, uh, if you'd like to make your way back off the podium, there's one more thing to do. Not you, Timo. If you move across, it's been a, a, a titanic battle, I think. You know, coming into the weekend, any one of three drivers could have still won the title. But this year's 2021 Honda Cadet British Champion, Timo Youngling. Gets his number one plate from Dan Parker and Motorsport UK. Now, first time a driver with English and German heritage has won a British title in some time. Congratulations, well done.